Okay, part then. What we're going to do is we're going to take this a little stage further than we've been doing. We're going to continue with the practice of the approach sequence to, to junctions. But what we're going to concentrate a little bit more on now is the actual emerging part of it. So up until now, the ones that we've where we've had to emerge, like the one ahead here, I've been sort of saying to you, right, break a bit more, go mm. into first or stop, or wait for these, and right, is there anybody else coming? I've been more or less talking you through them. Mm. So what we want to get you doing is you now doing that part of it. So have you any questions on, on the actual emerging as to what you do? Are you quite happy with the difference between a junction which perhaps has, say, a stop line as compared to give way lines? Yeah, you, stop line, I've got to stop. Um, uh -huh. Give way line, I only have to stop if I'm giving way. Yeah. Okay. And you're quite happy with the difference between what we would describe as an open and a closed junction, mm -hmm. one where the visibility is quite good and one where it yeah. isn't. Are you quite uh, clear An on open that? junction is where the visibility is good and a closed junction is where it's not so good. Right, okay, so what difference would that make? If it's not so good, I might have to stop to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to look and, properly. And how would you be able to emerge from that junction? Would you just stop and say, oh, I can't see anything and just go, or how would you deal with that? You might have to edge forward a little bit. So how would you do that? Under clutch control. Good, that's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I was looking for. So each junction you've got to, when you come to it, you can't sort of say, well, here's a T-junction, this is how I deal with this. You do your usual approach sequence, so that's going to be the same as we've just been doing. Um, I'm going to be letting you try that yourself. If you get the odd bit wrong, then we'll tell you, but... When you get up there, each junction must be judged on its merits. You need this, that car there has just stopped just now. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting there, what, for what reason, there's the reason now. Right. Um, we couldn't see that car coming, but that driver could. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what the situation is until we get there. So what you're going to do is judge each one individually. So as you get nearer to the junction, apart from being in the correct gear, you're then going to start looking early to see if there is anything coming, depending on the type of control, and then, if necessary, stop, and then edge forward, uh, still checking as you come out, until it's safe to proceed. Right. Any, any query on that? No? No. No? No. So we'll see how we get on with that part of it. Okay. I'll help you through the first few, um, as regards the actual emerging bit, but you do your usual ap approach. So okay. if we'd like to get ready again, usual checks. And what we're going to do first of all is once you've moved off, we're going to turn left at this first junction. Okay. Good. Right, so we're going to turn to the left. So check your mirror's usual approach sequence. Now, start looking. Think about your gear and start looking. You're leaving you looking a little bit late. Watch this way as well. Right, okay. What you want to do is start looking. I know it's new to you, but what you've got to do is start looking before you actually get there uh, to see what the situation is. You notice the chap who waited for us there? Yeah. He was looking at us before he stopped, wasn't he? Right. You don't want to come up, stop, and then look. You want to, as you're approaching, I know it's a lot to do. You've got to do that. You've got to start looking early so that you can see, can I proceed or not, is there anybody coming, is there anything blocking my view or whatever. And just nice and steady approaching the hazard here at the bend. Further down here where you'll see these garages ahead of you, at the end of the road, we're going to be turning to our left. So you've got an opening here first, so do your usual just approach sequence after this next one, yeah. Start slowing it down, usual approach sequence. And you've got your giveaway lanes there. Follow the curve. Think about your gear now. No, you're not slowing it enough. And you're going to have to stop now anyhow for that car. Right. Yeah. Try not to look down at your controls either. Now, can you see? Yeah. Okay. We're going to take the next on the left then. We're going to just pull up for a second or two just to cover that point. So Probably first left. Enter. I 
I'll just pull in just after these bins here, just on the left, just to explain a bit what went wrong there. That's fine, that's nice. Right. Now, we eventually had a car coming down there that we was just more or less in front of you as we arrived there, which obviously we had to stop for, but if we had slowed the car down a little bit more, which we should have been doing, it was downhill, and had got into the gear a little bit earlier, you can't afford to be changing gear and following the car round to the left at the same time, so again that's new to you, to follow the car round, so you've got to select the gear before you start steering, mm -hmm. and at that time as you're starting to steer around that's when you should be doing the looking. So if we got the speed down and got the gear in, by that time that car in that particular instance that was coming in would have been passed. He wouldn't have been there yeah. and we'd have been able to proceed without stopping. So it made right. it easy for So him. by coming up a bit too fast on the approach, it meant that we had to stop needlessly and then um, wait until the other vehicle had turned in because we couldn't see and so on. So we would have been holding up traffic as well there by doing that. Okay, mm -hmm. so just a case of, we're not expecting you to do it perfect at this stage, it's just a case of if you've made a mistake, learn right, understanding, what did I do wrong, how do I correct it? So, mm -hmm. quite simply, slow it down a little bit more, get the gear a bit earlier, and then you'll have time to do the observation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Because if you haven't got time to do the observation, you don't know whether there's anybody there or not. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Right, we're going to move off and we're going to turn left just up ahead here, whenever you're ready. I better put my windscreen on. Yes, you remember where they are? There, I think. Good. Do you need the rear one as well? Yeah? Okay? Yep. And keep in your own half of the road. You've got the lines there to guide you this time. Now, think about your speed and gear. Is it blind or open? Blind. Right, so just edge forward a little bit further, let it roll a bit, a little bit, yeah, to there, hold there, right, can you see that? No, can't see to me So right. edge out a little bit from there, you can see far enough down this way, but not yeah. that way, keep checking, up a bit with the clutch, and hold, and on you go now, nothing you can do once you've reached that point there, but to continue, he was coming around fairly fast, but he was he slowed down, he didn't sound the horn or blast at you because he could understand that uh, you were committed to coming out. When you started moving he wasn't there, was he? No. No, so we had nothing we could do about that. Seen him. No, 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 we wouldn't have done, but we had already committed ourselves at that stage. Now, up ahead here, we've got to turn left. And you see the sign this time? Stop. You're right, so do your approach sequence first. And watch for the line and watch the curve. Right, now, common mistake there, as far as this one's concerned. You just want to wipe that again before we proceed, otherwise you won't see too well. Right, okay, I'll wipe this one a little bit as well. Now, can you really see far enough up the road there, past that? No. That's because we've stopped a little bit short of the line. So take your handbrake off and just edge forward about another yard. A little bit yet, yet, stop. So now, yeah. see the difference in your view? Yeah. Can you see far enough now? I can see all the way around. Yes, yeah. but you couldn't back there. All right, no. clear enough on that? Yeah. Right, when it's safe, we'll proceed. But watch that car coming out there as well. He's coming in, but just make sure he has come in. Okay, clear enough on that? Yep. And then down here, when we get round a bit further, we're going to be turning off um, to the right, but it's down a little bit yet yeah, after the bend, but just to give you advance warning. So I'm downhill again? Yes, that's the point. So nice and steady. So you see the opening down here? Yeah. So next on the right. Signal plenty of time. Position just next to the line. Now your gear. Mirrors again. He's waiting behind you, so round we go. Then round here we're going to go to the right again. So, usual approach sequence. Have a look in, that's the idea. Yeah, I've seen that car. Yeah. 
see why it's important if somebody's parked there because yeah. anybody coming out would be on our side of the road, wouldn't they? Now just keep it at this speed because of all these parked cars, just ease off slightly and fine. We can see, but if we meet somebody, we we'll probably have to stop. It's nice and steady, and we're going left at the end. So, approach sequence, brake. Now, have a look this time. Look this way as well. Have a look, windows. have another look. No need to go down any first, was there? No. See the difference? No. That's yeah. what we term an open like junction. <laughs> yes, and much easier, wasn't it? <laughs>